Hello. Thank you. Thank you very much for watching this. Now, the point I'm going to bring up, I call it the elephant in the room. Now, I've heard it. Some people try to explain it, but I want to take it a different route. Now, the elephant in the room are the people that think of the the people that think that Lisa Ann Froon and Chris Kremers that they they went on the trail and they they somehow got lost and they kept on getting more and more lost and eventually Chris you know, passed away first and then Lisa Ann she eventually passed away too and you know a combination of starvation and accidents falling you know just you know that that's the theory okay you have the elephant in the room, I believe, of that theory, of the missing theory, is the bones. Is how the pelvic bone was bleached. Now, when I say bleached, it wasn't, you know, it, it wasn't that someone didn't actually pour a bottle of bleach on it. I mean, when I say bleach, it, it was like, it, it was like clean. And like, the color had changed, too. I mean, it, it was clean, and it was definitely older. Unless humans did something to it, which I believe humans did something to it. But for something to be bleached like that, naturally, like with lime, you know, like a lime or something like that, it would take time. So you have a pelvic bone that, that, that that's pretty much bleached. I mean, there, there's no remains on it at all. And then you have these bones in a foot that's in the shoe still. You, you have different layers of remains. And it does not add up. Now, at the pelvic bone, I, I believe, belonged to Chris. And people, you know, assume that she passed away first. And then the, you know, the, the foot, you know, belonged to Alyssa Ann. And they say, well, because Chris passed away first, of course, her bones would be, you know, would look older. Well, according to the missing scenario, she might have lived for two or three more days, but but I mean we're talking about remains that I mean like if, if left in like a, a natural environment like in the same basic place I mean we're talking like years of like difference not just two three or four days and this is what bugs me what bugs me is when you'll get a medical expert and they'll say well and, and they'll say something along the lines of well in the rainforest. There's so many different eco ecosystems going on that it's possible that remains would vary in age, even to the point of the pelvic bone and the shoe and all the other smaller bones. Okay, this is what I have not heard. I have not heard people actually go to the exact spot of the pelvic bone. I haven't heard people go to the exact spot of the foot of the shoe and say, well, it's likely that they decomposed at that rate. Why not? Why hasn't someone come out and gone to the actual spot and said, yeah, this is what we expect. We expect the pelvic bone to be bleached. We, you know, from where it was found, we expect the shoe to be a lot less decomposed. That's what we would expect. No, people have to like say things like, well, it's possible, but it's not likely, is it? No, it's not likely. If people, if two people passed away around the same time period in the same basic environment, even though there's a lot of different environments in the rainforest, they were still relatively close together. I mean, not many people think that Lisa Ann actually traveled that much further away from Chris. Same basic system, same basic place. Why would there be that much of a difference? Why would one the bones in the foot be the way they are, and then the, the, the pelvic bone bleached? Do you see the time gap? Like, if you go into a, a science lab, or, or you just say you go in your backyard and you bury different things, I mean, th there wouldn't be that much of a time gap. I do know something about decomposition. That, now, I'm not a you know, medical expert, but I, I know something about decomposition little bit okay not not much don't don't ask me like scientific okay this is <laughs> oh i'm gonna sound like an idiot now but my in, in high school i won an award 
in um, at a science fair because I did my um my, my scientific study was on the decomposition of wrappers of you know plastic wrappers of like McDonald's compared to Burger King compared to Wendy's and you know that okay so that's what I the little I know about decomposition of that so I, I, I'm not I wasn't I, I don't know if you talk about decomposition of human remains oh I, I that's not my specialty at all but doesn't it sound weird still that you would have like these pelvic bone you have this foot and different lengths what's the cause of that and i've yet to hear an expert go to the exact spot where that foot was go to the exact spot that pelvic bone was and say this is what we'd expect we'd expect this exactly i haven't heard anyone say this now those that do say it's possible they'll use language like well it's in the field of possibility or they'll, they'll say things like that but they won't use the word this is likely when we come and we try to grasp truth we try to come up with the likely scenario we don't try to come up with all the possibilities you know that's why in the civil lawsuit it's not beyond a reasonable doubt and even in, in a criminal case it's beyond a reasonable doubt doesn't mean it's beyond all doubts it's beyond a reasonable doubt if we start playing with the words well it's possible this happened because of do, did you see the if we treated all cases like this, well, it's possible that could have gone like that. Would, 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 would any crimes be solved? Could we actually put people away? Because defense attorneys would be able to say, they'd be able to question other people, other doctors, and say, well, isn't it possible? This, did you see the rabbit hole I'm, I'm going in? I, this video probably doesn't make very much sense, and I might not even post it. I'll probably post it, but then... Judging from the results, I, I, I'll probably take it down and try to rework myself. I'm, I'm seven minutes in, and uh, this is like the fifth time I've tried to like make it. Actually, it's probably more like the ninth time I've tried to make this video. So I'm going to kind of stick with it because, well, I'm still... My wife has got dinner pretty much ready, and she's probably wondering where I am. And I'm at my computer trying to make this video. Anyway, I would like to add discussion on that because for me, that's the, a, a big deal of the case. And I want to know what you think. Is it, do you really think it's elephant in the room? Do you think, I'm not saying a smoking gun, I'm not something saying for certain, but how likely, how likely do you think it is two people? perishing relatively same place relatively time same time span and then you had this pelvic bone that seems to be much older than the shoe without human agency now i believe the pelvic bone looks like that because i believe the people they bleached it they wanted to remove all kinds of evidence and also take into this consideration i probably should have put this said this sooner no animal marks, no animal scratchings. So animals didn't have anything to do with this. So this is naturally aging in the environments. And yeah, I, I know water would have added to it. I, I know different things would have added to it. That pelvic bone should have had some flesh part to it. And I guess as a, a secondary question, and this video is already nine minutes long, and I, I would like feedback. How much trust do you have in the DNA capabilities of the people in Panama? Okay, that's not a fair question. Of course they're capable. Do you believe what they say? Do you believe there's a chance that, that pelvic bone did not belong to Chris? Is there a chance? Did both the Dutch and the Panama... I'm, it seems like the details of this case keep on changing and changing and changing. Did I mean... It, is there any room for error? So, anyway, I, I wanted to bring that because that's five women's remains in the same place. 
that alone was enough for me to say this is crime. Okay, that's you know that that's a spot where people are just that that that's a drop off spot of a serial killer. But then when you see how these remains are different, I think it's I think it's pretty clear cut that pelvic bone was that's the work of a human. And then when I hear accounts where medical experts say, well, it's in the realm of possibility that this could have happened. Well, there's a lot of things in the realm of possibility. What's most likely? That's the elephant in the room. What's most likely? Anyway, I hope what I tried, I hope what I tried to, I'm not trying to put Panama under the bus. Not, and I'm not trying to do that. I'm trying to, Honestly, the reason why I'm making these videos is because I believe, and I've said this before, I think it's a dishonor to say that two people died because of their own mistakes when they were actually murdered. We're dishonoring the victims. If someone was killed, we need to be able to identify that as a murder, and then once that's identified as a murder, then find out who murdered him. But no one's finding out who murdered him. I mean, there's some internet sleuths, but officially there's no one looking who murdered him if, if, if that's not identified as the cause of death. And I believe that's a dishonor. And not just to Chris and Lisa Ann. This is just a case that I've bitten into. It's a case to everyone who's died and it's been labeled an accident, but it really wasn't. All right. Thank you very much. and. If this video is awful, please be honest, please tell me, and I'll try to do better next time. Have a great day.